just what is the difference between UI design and UX design? Don't worry, <laughs> we're gonna get into that right now. Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Gross. I'm a designer and Adobe partner with over nine years of experience in the industry. And honestly, my whole career has been self talked. So I understand the struggle of trying to research in day in and day out to figure out what just is UI UX design. <laughs> is it one thing? Is it two things? Where do they overlap? My brain hurts. Send help. So I understand. So let's jump in. What is UI and UX design in the layman's terms? Let's start off with UX or user experience design. User experience design is all about planning or architecting an experience. Basically thinking about the overall or larger problem at hand and thinking about how to solve it from both a customer and business perspective. Being a UX designer is kind of like if you're building a home and you're the one who's blueprinting, getting a lay of the land and building the foundation and structure of the home. Pretty simple, right? Next up, let's talk about UI or user interface design. Being a user interface designer essentially means Means you're responsible for the aesthetic wow. of the experience. You're designing the interfaces, the things you press, touch, feel. Experience. Going back to our building a home analogy, as a UI designer, you are going in after the foundation of the home is built and sprucing it up. Think interior design. Giving that blank, well thought out canvas of a home its color, look, and <laughs> course the field. P.S. If you like our building a home analogy, don't forget to smash that like button. It keeps us coming back to you every week with valuable content like this. Now that you have a better grasp on UI and UX, let's talk about what you can expect task-wise for each position. For UX positions, you can expect to do things like research, really understanding the larger challenge at hand, finding the pain points of your customers and doing competitive analysis, understanding customers via doing interviews and testing, doing workshops and concepting big picture solutions. For UI positions, your tasks will heavily be visual based and you'll be working on how to best represent to your customer within the experience that you're working on, what they can do, what is happening, and what they can do next within the experience. Essentially making sure they don't get lost and they can get what they came for. Here's an example. Imagine we're creating an Amazon website from scratch. Your job as the UX designer would be to figure out the challenges of our customer base, gathering information using data analytics, interviews, testing, to come up with a conclusion of what would really be able to help our customers be more satisfied and have a better experience on our website. With this information, you'll be able to put together drafts of things like wireframes to better organize our website structure and layout based on our customer goals while also keeping in mind our business goals. In this process, as a UI designer, you would take the concepts from the UX designer to further finalize the product and experience with the knowledge of aesthetic. Think typography, color theory, style and branding, icons, imagery, and really anything that goes into the visual category. And before I forget, yes, I already know, I can hear it in your mind. You're thinking, Brandon, why do I keep seeing job postings and articles referring to both UI slash UX designers? What does that even mean? Trust me, I got you. You came to the right place. The answer is simply. UI and UX designers do have some overlapping duties depending on what the positions you're looking at and really what the positions require. As a UX designer, your main goal, as we've touched on before, is to conceptualize and solve the larger challenges at hand. And as a UI designer, your responsibility is to visualize and represent the concepted solution. And the same thing goes for the UI designer where before you dive into designing, you will be diving into doing some research, data, and doing some conceptualizing of your own, which is why you see tons of jobs, articles related, or refer to positions as UI UX designers. So all in all, you might do a little bit of both, but essentially you're still able to pick which you focus on or what side of the coin you would like to be on for your career. But listen, <laughs> most skills ain't never hurt nobody or their wallets. So more skills that you have that complement one another, the better, and the more value you will be as an individual. And you've got me a little curious, what career path do you think is right for you? Let us know down in the comments below. So there you go. In a nutshell, we've talked a little bit about what is UI UX design. We've gone through the definition 
positions, the tasks you can expect to perform in each position. We gave you examples of where both overlap and we gave you a little bit of insight on which path may be best for you based on how you may like to work. If you've enjoyed this Splendiferous video, please leave a like and subscribe to the Springboard channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified when our videos go live. On top of that, if you're interested in UI or UX, Springboard has two amazing courses in each of these areas and you can use the links below to sign up today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Your boy, Brandon Gross and Springboard out.